I'm here with a different video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your RAM or replace your RAM for your Acer laptop. In this particular one is an Acer Aspire 5, and the exact model series is A550-52. This one comes with an iCore 5 8 Gen, and it does come with an 8 gig DDR4 RAM and SSD 128 gig and one terabyte of mechanical hard drive so let's get into it quickly so first thing you want to do you want to remove the bottom cover of the laptop which is the, the all the screws at the bottom cover they're all exposed so there's no hidden screws so remove all the screws and every single screws they're all the same size so don't worry about mismatching them or anything like that also I always use my iFix kit tool it's really handy all right so you want to grab yourself an opening tool uh, I use this one right here it's really hard to scratch and it's really flexible nice and comfy in, in your hand but what do you want to do you want to open the laptop in 45 degree angle and you want to stick this spot whatever opening tool right in between the top and the bottom cover right there and you want to wiggle it around a little bit just like that and move all around okay you want to do that on every corner and do the sides all the way to the corner and the left side all right once i did the left and right side pretty much is half open right now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna close down the laptop and now what we're we gonna do we're just gonna wiggle it around and move it like this and it will eventually come out so this is the bottom chassis bottom plastic all right, down here we can see we have the one terabyte hard drive. We got the heatsink, the CPU. The GPU is not installed on this model. So the few other models, they do have a GPU and the VRAM chips right over there. But this video is about the RAM. So the RAMs are right over here. Now it depends. If you have both of your RAMs occupied, so you might have only one DIMM occupied, so you might have one free. So to remove the RAM is really easy. It's just you want to pull these triggers apart. So just like that and the RAM should come out and you can help it a little bit in 45 degree angle. Don't yank the RAM all the way up, you're going to break the jack or the RAM. You want to pull it out in 45 degree angle, just like that, straight towards this side. You're going to grab the new RAM and you're going to put it in the same thing in 45 degree all the way inside, push it all the way in, don't put it halfway through or crook it all the way in and push it from the side or in from the middle all the way to the motherboard and you want to hit those two clicks same thing for the other side same thing you can just pull out 45 degree and pull it out uh, it's the same 4 gig this one comes with an 8 gig so it's 4 and 4 45 degree angle push it in and push it down all right, sometimes you're gonna hear people saying, why don't you disconnect the battery? You should disconnect the battery before doing anything. Not necessary. As long as you power off the laptop, it's pretty much, uh, you can just do work on it, change RAM, heat sink. You don't need to actually unplug the, uh, the battery. But if you wanna be paranoid, you can just go ahead and remove the battery by just pulling this jack outward. That's it. It's pretty much saying like, uh, oh, I'm gonna add a RAM to my PC, but you don't just go ahead and unplug the 24 pin power supply or anything like just power it up and you do your work. Same thing in here. So that's how you upgrade or replace your RAM for these models. And the last thing is, grab the bottom cover. You wanna put the heatsink side, the back end down first, align it, and then press it down on the corners. On the sides, you should hear those click sounds. There you go. 
Now you can finish it up by putting all the screws right on top and pretty much that's how you upgrade your RAM for this model. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you guys like this video. If you liked it, click that thumbs up button and if you guys subscribe, it really helps a lot. And I'll see you guys in my next video.